Is it okay to put fans inside your case's front panel? Like a lot of things, it depends. What's up everyone, Eric here and welcome to Hardware for Gamers. For those of you who are new to the channel, I review and test PC cases, CPU coolers, and PC case fans. So if you do end up liking what I'm doing here, can you please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel? It helps out a lot. Now getting back to this video and why someone might actually want to put fans inside their front panel. The main reason someone would want to do this is to allow for more room for the video card. Another reason might be cosmetic. If you don't like the way the fans look inside the case, you can try and hide them. Okay, so to see what happens when fans are installed inside the front panel, I've taken three different cases, each with a different type of front panel and tested them with fans inside the case as well as inside the front panel. Now before I get too far into this, I do want to point a few things out. Not all cases will allow you to install fans in the front panel, because some cases don't actually have a front panel. And some other cases might actually let you install the fans inside the front panel, but you might end up having an issue of like you can't get the front panel back on after the fans are installed. Just something to keep in mind if you are thinking of doing this yourself. The fans I used are the same fans I use for my case testing reviews, that being the Arctic P12 PWM PSTs. The tests I ran again are the same as I run in my case testing, that being a CPU workload test and a gaming test. The first case I tested was the S100 from Thermaltake, which has a solid front panel with perforations along both sides of the panel. In the CPU workload test with the fans inside the case, the average CPU temperature was 67.6 C. Then with the fans inside the front panel, the average CPU temperature went up to 70 C which is only a 2.5C difference, which is outside the margin of error, but not by much. Now in the gaming test, with the fans inside the case, the average CPU temperature was 42.4C, and the average GPU temperature was 70.2C. Then with the fans inside the front panel, the average CPU temperature went up to 45.6C, so a 3 Celsius difference and the average GPU temperature went up to 75.2 C, so a five Celsius difference. These temperatures are still well within manufacturer specs, so take this as you will. Moving on to the next case, I used the R1 from Silverstone, which has a meshed front panel with an attached dust filter. In the CPU workload test with the fans inside the case, the average CPU temperature was 67 C. Then with the fans inside the front panel, the average CPU temperature was 67.6 C, so within the margin of error. In the gaming test, the average CPU temperature and the average GPU temperature were slightly higher with the fans inside the case. These temperature differences are within the margin of error, so there's pretty much no difference here. Moving on to the last case, the P300A from Fantax which has a meshed front panel with no additional dust filter. Now, much like the R1, there's no real difference in the CPU workload test. Then in the gaming test, with the fans inside the case, the average CPU temperature was slightly warmer and the average GPU temperature was slightly cooler. Again, these temperatures are pretty much within the margin of error, so there's no real difference here either. Okay then, what have we learned? We've learned based off my testing it doesn't really matter which side the fans are on for an airflow optimized case. But if your case has a solid front panel, the system temperatures will go up by how much will depend on a few factors. Starting with the Arctic P12s, which are pressure optimized fans. So these are best case scenario for a case with a solid front panel. So if airflow optimized fans were used, the temperatures would likely be slightly higher than in my testing. By how much does depend on which fans you use. So how much static pressure the fans have and the case itself for how much airflow is allowed into the case. I can't test every fan with every case. It's just mathematically impossible. Now, if you were thinking of putting fans inside the front panel for your next build, there are a few things you should understand. Like I mentioned before, some cases simply just can't have fans in the front panel, like the Meshify C from Fractal, the H510 from NZXT, the 4000D from Corsair, and I'm sure there are many others as well. Simply put, if there is no space inside the front panel, 
it can't be done. Another issue you might run into is you won't be able to use all the fan mounting locations along the front of the case. I've had this issue with the R1 from Silverstone where the bottom fan interferes with the front panel, so I couldn't actually get the front panel back onto the case. Similarly with the Versa H18 from Thermaltake, where the top fan interfered with the front I.O., which made it very hard to get the front panel back on. And again, I'm sure there are many other cases that would give similar issue. The last thing I want you to think about is when you install the fans into the front panel, it can make installing and removing the fans extremely annoying. This is because you need to get a screwdriver inside the case, and if you have a system inside the case, good luck with that. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, you can try doing this, but you shouldn't design a build where you'll need to have the fans inside the front panel for everything to fit inside the case. Unless you know it will work the way you want it to. Well, that's all I got for this one. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're still watching, please hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. Please follow me on Twitter at HFG underscore YT. Uh, I also have a Discord server. It is completely free to join. There is a link down in the description. And as always, thank you for watching and see you next time.